Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the channel and today I'm gonna to be trying to recreate a gravity powered walker also known as a passive dynamic walker which I was led to thanks to this comment right here so now these are basically machines that have no batteries they have no motors no engines or anything like that but still are able to manage a convincing walking motion usually with the assistance of gravity on a very gentle slope so let's take a look at what it's supposed to look like and then see how close I can come to replicating it. All right, so this video on the Ruina Lab channel shows an ac actually a whole assortment of passive dynamic walkers, but there's only one of these that I'm going to be focusing on, which I think is going to be have the highest chance of success in the scrap mechanic. So you have these little tiny bipedal ones like this penguin here, which is kind of cute. I think the second one is actually the one that, yeah, this is the one that I want to try to replicate. So this is essentially a four-legged walker, which is kind of really acting as like a tripod. Uh, the two legs in the middle are pretty much, they could be one if they really needed to be. But then you also have some more human-like bipedal walkers like this one. Man, look at all them pixels. You can see like every single one of them. 1998. I was eight years old when this video was uh, recorded. Yeah, see, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for the bipedal ones just yet. There's definitely some weight balancing going on with the arms there. Yeah, look at how the arms are designed to swing out as it steps side to side. All right, then we got this really weird looking one. It, kind of, it, it I don't know, it kind of makes me uncomfortable. I don't like that one. All of this must have a purpose, right? It's probably just to, oh, okay, it's done. So I'm gonna leave a link to this full video down in the description so you can watch it in more detail, but let's take a closer look at the one we're actually gonna be trying to replicate here. There's one aspect of this that I think is gonna give me some problems when I'm trying to build it in the game, and that is starting it in its walking motion. Because I don't think it's as simple as just putting it down on the surface and then it starts walking. I think you kind of need to give it a starting motion because look at how he starts this thing. It almost seems like there's a finesse to it. He pulls the leg out. He does like a little bit of a swing. He kind of gives it its first step and that gives it its uh, its cycle to go through. That starts the cycle, I guess. So I don't know how I'm going to accomplish that aspect of it in Scrap Mechanic, but um, I guess I'll figure it out when I get there or I won't. But either way, I'm gonna try, let's get to it. Okay, so looking at the original design, it seems like the outside legs are actually moving in sync with each other, like they're attached together. And then the two inside legs are also attached together, but able to swing independently of the outside legs. So these legs will not swing independently of each other. You know what? I'm starting this wrong. I think this is gonna be easier if I just build a leg that is capable of hinging at the knee and not extending further than its straightened position. Cause it's just that duplicated four times and connected in a specific way. So yeah, let's start with the hinge. The hinge is the key part of this. It all hinges on the hinge. It really needs this knee. All right, so I think I built a successful knee here. Let's test it out real quick. Oh yeah, look at that. And then it should be resistant to bending in the other direction. Yep, that looks about right. All right, I guess I should probably build the foot before I start duplicating this thing. Now there's one key aspect to this that I think is important and the the feet of these things tend to be curved, which I think allows them to really easily roll over into the next part of the step. Uh, curves are not the easiest thing to create in Scrap Mechanic, as many of us probably know. Ooh, also, I want the foot to be built out of heavier material because I think we need to have some decent weight on the bottom for these to swing and uh, maintain stability. You know what would make this a whole lot easier? Some draggable wedges. No, but it's fine. I'll just deal with the two different types of wedges I have for now. There we go. I think that's a decent shape. All right, so now we got the legs built. So whenever I need a leg, I can just spawn it in. Uh, so I'm going to start with these two. We're going to be the outside legs first. So they're going to rotate. The inner legs are going to rotate from this section, which means that these need to extend a little bit above and over to make room for the inside legs. I don't know how wide I want to make this. I feel like that's gonna be good enough. Want to make sure it's not gonna tilt over sideways. All right, so one, two, three, four, and I should just be able to weld this leg right here. And now these legs are now one unit that should swing together and bend at the knee. All right, so now the next section of legs are essentially gonna swing from this part right here. So this whole section is gonna be able to pivot underneath the uh, top section. And there we go. Everything looking good, all aligned. All right, so I think technically it is 
done. The build, like the, the walking mechanism itself is done. Now I just gotta make it walk. All right, this is gonna be a bit of a process, but I need to give this thing a nice big slope to walk down. Wait, out of curiosity, let me make sure that this thing is functioning the way it should be functioning. Okay, yeah, see these, uh, the thighs are moving together. Of course, the knees are gonna bend whenever they need to bend because they're knees. And if they need to bend, they need to bend. That's what knees do. They bend, especially when they need to. All right, I'm gonna stop with the knee puns. All right, look at that. This thing looks pretty cool. It's starting to look like a strand beast in that position or an Elden Ring monster. All right, but anyway, back to the ramp. Look at that. We have a very, su that's way more subtle than I was expecting it to be actually. That might not be enough. Oh man, I do not like this wobbling. This wobbling feels like this whole thing is gonna glitch out and break my world any second now. All right, so let's see what happens. If I weld this up right, right here. Oh. Yes, go forward. I need to start it. I need to start the leg. If I use a hammer, is that gonna be enough? Okay, that was a little bit too much though. And then if I delete this, Okay, yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's got the potential. Definitely got the potential. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get it to just go. Oh, it fell over. Look at this, it's like quadruple kneeling. I don't know what that really means, but it's happening. I knew this was gonna be the hard part. I might need, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so sad watching it collapse like that. I think I might need to weld it above the joint for this to work. All right, now if I get this section started, and then delete that, it collapses. How do I get this to walk? You know, let's start with a steeper slope. I feel like a shallower slope is actually a little bit more difficult. So all I gotta do is just cut this, and there we go. Now it's slightly steeper. Oh, whoops. All right, I'm just trying, I'm just, I'm just experimenting. I'm looking at how this thing is functioning right now. All right, let me put this back to this. Oh, whoa! Oh, 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 okay, okay. This, this could be good, this could be good. I just gotta time this right, ready? Huh. All right, I'm not actually positive about this, but I don't think it could hurt in any way, but it does actually look like these joints might be connected to each other so that they can't bend independently. That's not the same for the outside though. I don't see any way in which they have these um, connected together. So let's see if this helps anything. Okay, here we go. Let's get this swinging. All right, and then when it swings forward, I'm gonna delete it. It just, everything bends. Why does everything bend? Okay, 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 okay. I think I found something. I think I found something different with my design. I'm going to move them so that the weight is actually all the way forward in relation to the leg rather than in the middle because I want it to be, I, th th this is how it is. This is one difference I noticed with the original design and I'm thinking that might contribute to keeping them more straight when they are trying to walk. I hope, I hope I didn't just mess things up for myself. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, that's not how it's supposed to go. Okay, now let's see if this made all the difference. Wait, why is it not going back now? All right, well, let's just do a really quick hit, delete. Go! It made a difference. It didn't fall over this time. Maybe we actually need more weight on the frame itself. All right, there we go. Subtle change, but potentially big consequences. Let's see, let's see how it feels. Go. Oh! <gasps> Wait, these didn't bend. Wait, oh. That was closer. <laughs> okay, here we go, ready? The legs. They didn't bend when they should have bent that time. I think I should build a smaller version because I think with how big this is and the scale of scrap mechanic, it makes the parts more resistant to move. All right, let's see if this looks like it functions how it should. All right, everything's looking good so far. All the legs bend. They should all straighten, no problem. All right, this is our new design. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what just happened there. Go. <gasps> oh, so close. It had almost step. I think we just need a stronger decline here. There we go. Nope. All right, let's see if it works now. Go. Go. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the huge limiting factor right now is that the joints just aren't bending the way that they should bend. Like once that, once it leans forward, 
these joints just kind of stay straight rather than bending, even though they're capable of bending. And I don't, I don't know if that's something I'm doing wrong with it or if that's just the scrap mechanic joints might just be less free floaty. All right, so now you can see the lower leg is much longer in proportion to the upper leg. So let's see if that helps the knee bending. Seems to be the exact same issue right now. All right, I'm gonna try a steeper angle yet again. Go, 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 bend. Oh, the legs need to bend. All right, so I've just spent like another 40 minutes just tweaking, changing little things, trying to just get anything to change how this behaves. And so far what I'm finding is um, nothing's working. These joints just do not wanna bend when it takes a step forward. You can see they stay straight and then the feet hit the ground and then it tips over. It's feeling like it's a problem with just how scrap mechanic physics works. So let's try something a little weird here and let's jump into a different game, try to recreate this and see if it behaves differently. So welcome to Trail Makers. This is gonna be interesting trying to recreate this here. I don't know how I'm gonna do the whole starting mechanic because I don't really have a hammer to hit things with to get it going, but I'll try to figure something out. At least we have some natural hills and stuff that we can try to have it walk down. But first, we gotta build legs. Now the handy thing about trail makers is we actually have hinges. All right, so here's my basic leg design. We got the free floating hinges here. We got the kneecap to prevent overextension. And now we just copy and paste this to the inside here. There we go, and I think it is technically ready here. Oh boy, okay. Was not expecting that. We have a massive overextension issue. <laughs> Apparently those don't have collisions, what? Well, let's see what we can do here. Does that work? Okay, that does seem to work. And now it doesn't seem to work. Whoa. Wow, this is really weird. So watch these outside legs. You can see clearly those red pipes are not doing their job. But watch, if I delete the red pipes off of one side, now watch this left side. Now they actually do their job. What if I have it like this, one on each side, and now they don't do the job. Turns out scrap mechanic and trail makers have their own independent set of physics weirdness. Okay, well this is certainly interesting. There's nothing powered about this whatsoever, but it's just doing this. Just doing this right now. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to mention, I solved the issue with the clipping through. I had to add a steering hinge in the kneecap and I completely redesigned it to be smaller. But now it's just kind of like a little kid sitting on the edge of a chair swinging his legs for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that, but I have the ability to just disconnect at will. And when I disconnect, that happens. Some tells me that the Trailmakers version just isn't gonna go any better. Whoa, oh, I almost figured out how to start it. Check it out. Oh. The, uh, the knees bend too much. Okay, this is interesting. Now we have like almost the reverse, pro okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We have almost the reverse problem here, it seems like. Hold on a second now, just bump the leg. Hold oh, I th this starting's really difficult. Bump the, nope, I wanna do a gentle bump. There we go. Oh, no, same issue actually. The the next legs, the outside legs don't wanna bend as they move forward, it seems like. Whoa, oh, that was the closest one yet. Oh, okay, I removed the seat from the top. I think the weight on the top was actually throwing it off a little bit. And we actually almost had, look at the, the legs bend. They, they bent that time. Oh, come on, go, 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 bend. <gasps> oh, we almost got a second step. This is the closest ever. Go. <laughs> I just want to get like two steps. Two steps, so we go back to the starting position. Come on. Uh, we're so close. It's like, there's no way it's going to be as consistent as in the videos, but oh, when, especially with some of the bounce physics going on. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make some modifications to the feet to see if this helps. You know, let me give this a little bit of suspension. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was actually, that was our best one yet. We're having an issue with bouncing off the ground when we contact the ground. So this is making it land much smoother on the ground. In fact, let me just increase the stiffness. We're gonna do maximum stiffness. So they still give us a cushion, but they shouldn't affect the distance that much. All right, come on. Oh, oh, that was a new record. That was like one and three quarters of a step. We didn't get the full two steps in. 
I wanted to go back into that straight up position. I got an idea for this too. I'm gonna actually add suspension for the kneecap. I'm thinking it's going to still work. Go, go, go. There we go. There we go. Oh, <gasps> they stayed straight that time. They actually stayed straight that time. I think the suspension kneecap actually made a difference. All right, the, the slope was just too aggressive, I think. Go, go, ooh, man. All right, I'm building a new experimental kneecap that actually has the direction of force go in line with the suspension. I'm feeling like this is going to help keep the knees from um, bending when they're not supposed to. All right, let's see if it helps. Oh, oh, that that seemed to almost work. The other leg just couldn't get into the straight position. <gasps> oh, 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 closest yet. Closest yet. Okay. All right, we're getting there. I think this design could do it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we did it! We did it! That was as far as I wanted to go at the minimum! Oh, we got the third step in! It landed back on the first foot! First foot? Oh, oh man, I wonder if we could get more than that. Like, that almost seemed like it had potential. First foot, second... Okay, it, it's the ground... It's the ground inconsistencies. We need flat... We need a flat slope. This might be good. Right, come on, it's all about getting that first step right. Oh, it might be too steep. But the physics of the joints in this seems to be uh, doing way better than it was in Scrap Mechanic. Yeah, I think we need a slightly shallower angle than what this is providing us. So let's just try to see if we can get lucky on this slope. Turns out walking is hard. Whoa! 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 That was our new record! That was a new record. I, every single step past like the first two steps is just like a mind-blowing experience. Okay, all right, come on. I want to see that again. Yes. 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 Oh, it was just, it was getting off tilt from the terrain. Oh, we're getting it. It's actually kind of working. Oh, man. I really thought this was going to be a complete failure of a video. I mean, granted, we had to try two different games to accomplish this, and it's still absolutely terrible at doing what it's supposed to do but we got like more than one full cycle. Oh, okay, <laughs> lost balance there. But we actually managed to take multiple gravity powered steps. Look at it go, look at it go. Oh, they got caught up on the last one there. Oh, I did not think we were even gonna manage to get one successful step after seeing how it was behaving at first in both games. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, it looks so good, and then it seems to just lose momentum. But yeah, I'm really not sure if I'm gonna manage to get better than what we've already seen. I was hoping to get it into, like, a really decent groove where it just keeps going, but yeah, it seems around, like, the third or fourth, uh, contact with the ground, it seems to get stuck at some point. But man, oh, oh! Oh, man, almost, almost. Yeah, it just seems to kind of lose momentum. But yeah, this is probably one of the most difficult walker building experiences I've ever had. I'm two and a half hours into this. I'm two games into this. I'd be curious if anyone manages to build one that's actually consistent in either Scrap Mechanic or Trail Makers, like that can just keep going pretty much until it reaches the end of the slope. So let me know if you guys see anything like that. Anyway, if you enjoyed this recreation of some real life mechanisms, you'll probably enjoy this playlist on the end screen right here of a bunch of other similar recreations. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.